my name is Anastasia Chugunova and I'm a postdoc from NT Pauli's lab and I'm working on mitochondrial activation during embryogenesis in zebrafish. Mitochondria are a very essential organelle in our cells and it is known as a powerhouse of the cells. So in our institute we have multiple services, uh, facilities that are helping us with our science. And in our lab we are extensively using them, including me. Services are here to support our research and um, it's a group of people that shares with us uh, their expertise. And on the other hand, it's also equipment that we can use in, to address our scientific questions. For example, for my project, I needed to visualize mitochondria during embryogenesis in zebrafish. So as a person without any expertise in microscopy, we ask bioptics uh, that have a lot of experience in this. In the bioptics facility, we have a lot of people that are helping us with, the, uh, with our science. And in my case, Alberta and Pavel uh, participated quite extensively so uh, we tried all together to find a microscope that um, would allow us to visualize uh, with a high resolution mitochondria over development. And before we found one, we actually tried, I think, at least four or five microscopes. So for this particular project, uh, we needed to quantify how many mitochondria we have in spheroid and elongated state. And for this, there are multiple tools that allow this quantification. Unfortunately, they're very uh, complicated for the beginner, such as me. They rely mostly on neural network. I, to be honest, I don't know how to use these tools myself. But thanks to Bioptics, we have a person that uh, helped us to set up the pipeline that would be easy to follow and also I can do this myself. Of course, it's much more convenient to have it on site and they also feel responsibility and we can talk with them about the project at any moment. Proteomics facility is an amazing facility because first of all, it's easy to access. In addition, uh, Proteomics facility offers bioinformatical analysis of, uh, of data that we get at the end. And this is very important for scientists because this is the end product of our experiments. And based on this, we can make uh, our conclusions and to think about our next experiments that we would like to do.